But well, we're a little bit over time. Yeah, we, we got to get to our, our, our guest. And oh, yes, yeah. you are right. It does change over time. Our guest coming up, guys, is LaDonna uh, McCabe. Okay. And she does uh, selling on the spot, uh, marketplace. She's a licensee. And uh, she helps you to learn how to make connections, network, make sales, network. She's a networking expert, three time best selling author teacher, speaker, coach, virtual designer, owner of Home Sweet Home Treasures e-commerce, experience with WordPress and WooCommerce, and she does it all. So without further ado, let's bring to the stage, LaDonna McCabe. I hope I'm saying that the last name right there, LaDonna. Welcome to the show. LaDonna, welcome to the show. Hey there, guys. It is LaDonna McCabe. McCabe. LaDonna McCabe. Yes. We got it. Takes a little, yes. little bit. Uh, thank you for coming on and slowing in. Well, you know, this, I, I used to say slowing down with the baby boomers because we had Betty White's co star Rita Gray as my host. Now I have Eric, so it, it has sped up a little bit. It's getting me moving a little faster. And, uh, but, you know, I'll tell you, you have a very interesting bio. And what brought, what brought LaDonna down the path that she's going? Because you could have. Just, you know, a doctor, an engineer, or you know, so many different fields, but your field definitely helps a lot of people, and it's very interesting. And like we all talk about, constantly changing times that are going on. What do you think it was that gave you this motivational force to do what you do? Um, you know, my priority, um, my husband and I were high school sweethearts, married right out of school. Um, 40 plus years married now, but when we decided to have a family, um, we chose together that, you know, one would be the main breadwinner, one would be the one that would always take care of the family uh, when needed. So that's what we did. And I've always been able to, when needed, I could drop what I needed to do and be here for my family. So that's what... Mm -hmm kind of put me into that path of, and for me, my coaching, I I tell people I'm not a coach, I'm not a trainer, I'm a teacher, and I call myself a teacher because I truly, when someone comes to me and they need help with their business, uh, networking and connecting and making money. I teach them. I don't coach them. Everyone needs something different. I literally put together a program for them, not for everyone, for them personally. And I teach them. And I, yes, and I'm there next to them um, until they feel comfortable doing what they need to do to build the business that they want. That is so important, LaDonna. I mean, speaking from a similar experience, the training side of things is a lot of work and so, so important. And it's great that you actually take the time and you have that, that love and care. It just means that means that you care about people to take the time to guide them and, and teach them. What do you, what do you teach them yeah. exactly? What do, you, what do you think the biggest takeaway people get when working with you is? I think it's um, a personal I touch. Think- <laughs> it it is it is a personal touch, but I tell people people that your business is like your home. If your home is not on a great foundation, a sturdy foundation, your house will crumble. Well, so will your business. And without connecting with the right connections, not just chit chatting, but literally the right connections for you and your business. And learning to network with those folks, your foundation will crumble. If you're a new business owner or a business owner in 25 years from now, you still need foundation to be strong. And without it, your business will crumble. I agree. So, so, LaDonna, let me me ask you this. Um, I believe that nowadays in business, most business is done online. Brick and mortar has now turned into click and order. Would you agree? Absolutely. Absolutely. So in making in, in, in making money online, because most business is done that way now, I think the most important thing to create cash is community. 
And you said in the beginning, networking and people and, and knowledge. So one of the biggest things I like to focus on and get tips with is building community, but not only building community, but keeping the community and then transit and then ha- turning that community into cash. Can you speak a little bit on, on that? Cause I know you're, you're an expert in that field too. Absolutely. Um, I tell everyone when you, when you're in business for yourself, you're not really in business for yourself. Let's face it. You have a, you have your clients, your customers, whatever it is that you are doing, you have to make them happy. If you don't make them happy, they will find someone that will. You have to fall in love with every client and every customer and serve them with love and care. Everyone doesn't learn the same way. Everyone doesn't need the same product. But you have to find their niche. You have to spend a little time with them and find what they are looking for. And you have to be the answer that they are looking for. Because guess what? If you're not, they will find someone else. Because there's many, many of us out there. But building a business by yourself is one thing. But when you come together as a community and you build your businesses together by collaborating, your business grows stronger and faster. Mm, great, great advice. Absolutely. So, so in the community, yeah, I'm going to ask one more question, then I'll, I'll, I'll give it to you. So one of the biggest tools in building and managing community uh, is a group of some sort on social media. And most people use Facebook. We use Facebook. So I'm going to say a Facebook group. Um, what tips would you have for our listening audience to keeping the community, keeping them interested, getting them to want to, to growing the followers, growing the members that are, that are, you know, growing the group. Uh, you know, there's, there's a lot of strategies involved in, in that. And I know that you do that. You keep your community pretty well. You get a pretty, pretty good uh, engagement base. You know, can you, can you give us maybe three tips on, on working with a group uh, to keep and, and build your community? Absolutely. Um, People are visual. They need to see you. They need to see you often. They need you to show up. You know, I always tell everyone, get up, show up, get dressed just like you're going to the office every day. Because when you show up, someone sees that. They may not see it the first time, the tenth time. It may take 25 times. But you continue to show up. That's the first thing. You have to give them visual tools, um, whatever that may be. So you said Facebook. Um, Same thing with LinkedIn. You put a post out there that gets their attention. Um, It doesn't have to be a sales post every time, but some kind of post that gets their attention. That is the number one, is getting their attention. Don't let your stuff get boring. Boring, snoring. They're leaving. Mm -hmm. You have Mm -hmm. to keep them motivated. They want to be motivated, but we have to motivate them. And the way our world is in today, it's very easy to get unmotivated and climb in a corner and stay there. We have to make it our job to motivate people. I do a Monday mojo every Monday night at 6 p.m. Central to get everyone's week started off right. Life, mm-hmm. business, whatever you're doing is all in the mindset. Well, I love, I love that you said that you do a Monday mojo every single week because I think, I think the key word uh, is consistency. You have to keep it yeah. consistent. Your content needs to be consistent. And like you said, not boring. It needs to be good content. So what you're putting out there is really important. And I, I, have, I have so many other questions now going off of that. But, Dad, I'm going to go ahead and give the microphone to you. Well, Thank we were you, talking Eric. about the importance of change. And without really being able to adapt and change, you're going to, you're going to just be uh, going to turn into a stagnant business. And we know it happens. I won't mention any names to certain businesses that were really big and didn't change and 
they were just outdated and gone. And so Absolutely. now it's a, it's, it's a major transition to uh, what, you know, the interperson personal relationships people have this, you know, now when you're dealing with people, they have to be somewhat savvy with the tech in engaging all these programs. So the change has to be there. Are you finding a little stumbling block with some people that normally you'd be taking uh, by the hand and bringing them up here and on stage and this and that? Now all of a sudden you have to deal with them and see where they're at in the tech savvy world. And then you have to also instruct in that, not only what you're dealing with as far as your, your, you know, your certain skills and, 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 you know, and speaking and all that, but you have to get them through those little, uh, this is how you do it. This is how you get on board, right? You come Absolutely. In that. And, and that comes to being a great coach, a great trainer, a great teacher, whatever it is. For me, when I do put together a teaching program for one of my clients, all of that is taken in strides. If they're needing help learning Facebook, I'm going to be there to teach them how to do Facebook or okay. LinkedIn or whatever the strategy is. You know, some people really don't have a clue. But you know what? It goes back to um, COVID. You know, we all say the big C word, COVID. It was yeah. horrible. It was horrible. But it has brought some great things out in some of us. Because let me tell you, before COVID, I was out in my car every day going to breakfast, brunch, lunches, happy hours, dinners, you know, after dinners, whatever, meeting people. Well, COVID hit, I had to learn a whole new strategy. Now, it would have exactly. been easy for me to climb in a corner and say, forget this. But that's not me. So I had to, get, you know, climb in there and learn some new things, learn some new strategies, and it's made me a better person. And you know what makes my life even happier is that I can make others be better people. Exactly. Yeah. And and it's uh it's an adapting situation. People adapt, but they uh now do you think they might be a little bit more relaxed doing this in a digital format than actually meeting some more and being in person? Because, you know, the stats are a lot of people really don't want to or find it uncomfortable, even though they want to be a speaker to actually do it. It's one of the top fears, you know. It's basically maybe a little simpler to do it on a digital format than get on stage in person, do you think, right? Um, You know what? I um... – the majority of my business is still online, and I have some conflicting um, words when it comes to easier, better, worse, different. It is different going on stage and speaking, but that's where you're going to make, I think, the majority of your money as a speaker is when you go up on stage. Um uh-huh. Because of where we're at in the digital world, the majority of people don't want to pay speakers to speak virtual, you know, virtually online. No. Um, one flaw that I am seeing, and it, to me it seems to be getting worse, is that people yeah. get too comfortable at home in a home office and they don't really show up. They don't do the homework to know their topic, and they don't look the part. You know, you still need to get up and put a nice top on, a nice shirt, do your hair, wash your face. You know, be presentable, just like you are going to go into a true life meeting. You need to be knowledgeable. You need to look the part and be the part. Um, so many times I'll have a Zoom call and they don't even know what we're talking about. They didn't do their, you know, they didn't do their homework. They didn't prepare. Exactly. I think that's why Eric brought a lot of the Zoom to another level because uh, a lot of his people, you see, they are dressed nice and they do take it serious. But you have to do that just like you said at home. The people, if they're working from home, they, they have to get up in the morning and take it more serious, not just like, oh, I'm home now, I can make breakfast and do this and that. And they'll cut 60% out of the work time. 
because they're home. And you have to uh, really take it more to heart, more serious. Uh, because, yes, you have to be structured. Right. Yes. Yeah, the structure yes. has to be there. So the, uh, so we have another another four minutes left of uh, of this uh, segment. Uh, LaDonna, is there anything in particular that you wanted to cover on today's show? Um, you know what? I just want um, to invite everyone to please make sure you are at the Easy Way Pitch Party on July 20th. I know Eric has some great things um, coming to all of us on July 20th, as always. And it's going to be a great time. I, I want to reach out and ask everyone, if you're a member, not a member, whatever it is, bring yourself and a guest. Make it your mission to bring a guest as well. You know, the more the merrier. The more we can teach each other, the better off our businesses will be. Exactly. Yeah. I appreciate that. Idea. And we're not to mention, we, we, we have the new uh, affiliate system now, too. So if you bring a guest and that guest happens to sign up with our network or any of the 150 different services that we offer on a a la carte basis, uh, you can you can make some money, too, when you tell people about the pitch party and about Easy Way Network. But thank you for uh, for promoting that, LaDonna. We're looking forward to having you uh, not only on, on the July 20th, but we're also going to be doing a collaboration event with a friend of mine who actually created fantasy football. And he does, he has a community of uh, business owners that uh, learn and grow through a thing called faster class uh, TV. And so we're going to be doing faster class pitch party on uh, July 26, I believe it is. So it's a, it's a double whammy um, this month. So not only July 20th, but it's a, it's a piggyback 